would like to invite you to join the conversation via WhatsApp 020 2166633. That's 020 2166633. The Ghanaian Times this morning reports that police gunned down two robbers, retrieved ammunition, handcuffed, access, and face masks. Public Accounts Committee orders arrest of two for suspected perjury and full implementation of paperless ports to end Ghana more revenue. Digital terrestrial television switch over to commence July communication ministry and will save 173 million Ghana cities on compilation of new voters register, according to the EC. The, uh, the story is on page 15. Amnesty International demands report on human rights uh, from government. Customs tax force impounds 150 vehicles in Takrade. The Daily Guide. Two arrested for lying to MPs. Sedina authorized 500,000 Obatampa loan. Baumia hosts Oni of Ife and Auditor General cited for contempt of court. The Finder newspaper, debt chokes <coughs> bust $423 million uh, dollars, uh, as at the end of November 2017, CBOD uh, says so. The digital terrestrial television project nears completion, according to Esla. Uh, Ousue Kufu, who is Minister for Communication. Rawlings dares EUW to publish Yoko report on Avoke and others. I'm sure you've seen the back and forth, the epistles uh, going up and down. Volta NDC denounces cessationists. The Daily Graphic. A private institution's woes. One school, one student, six teachers. Uh, and we were talking about schools earlier this morning. The Inyinem Press BJHS. GRA issues 3.74 million tins, tax identification numbers. Ghana, UK to strengthen ties and 69% of roads barred. Massive rehabilitation underway, the minister says. So mind you, the MPP says this year is the year of roads. And finally, uh, on the back page of Daily Graphic, government initiates project to save poultry industry. Over 2,000 people killed in road accidents last year, 2019. Staggering figure there. My guest this morning is lawyer Duji Tamaklo. He is uh, a member of the NDC's legal team. He is also a part of their communication team. Council, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Um, this happens to be our first engagement. Absolutely. Uh, this year. Absolutely. So once again, welcome to mm. this uh, lovely platform, very education, uh, educative and informative. Thank you. And uh, good morning to my brother, uh, Kamal Dean. Uh, he just told me a very beautiful story. I don't know whether I'm not sure you're the one to announce I don't know whether I can. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. Council, you have taken earlier judicial Hold on. I don't know whether I qualify to be a you messenger don't. or or you chairman. Certainly don't. <laughs> so, jurisdictional grounds, capacity, I'll decline. Anyway, okay. I hear you. I hear you. Yes, of course. Kamal Dean Abdullahi. Uh, is is a, a former a former is a former former national former national national national, 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 national a deputy, a deputy national, national communications national. director of the NPP and come out good morning how are you doing good morning my good and, brother and 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 of course maybe I would have to I have the capacity mm. <laughs> and jurisdiction <laughs> jurisdictional <laughs> capacity is, is anyway um, well very good morning and I say a very happy new year to everyone it's mm. my first engagement also on the, um, your set mm. um, since the year began right um, of course I must say that um, TV three is doing a year man's job mm. and of course we all. Um, appreciate what you're doing mm. in terms of information dissemination and in terms of also ensuring that of course you contribute to the discourse to mm. national development as it were. Um, yes, in politics you would have to look at so many things. You would have to look at um, platforms that will help you appreciate what governance actually is about mm. because it's about people, it's about meeting out to people the goodies that you do have in terms of what um, your, your suggestions are okay. for development and all that. So stage by stage you get to something levels and mm -hmm. then you decide to take a challenge or go into a particular challenge. And of course, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he will give it to you, mm -hmm. then of course he will give it to you. I have decided and of course mm -hmm. it is something that um, indeed I'm going to do. Okay. Nominations have been op uh, opened. Right. Uh, my party is going to hold primaries in all the 169 um, except the Ayaso West Wagon okay. where National Council has decided that there should not be a contest but there's going to be primaries held in all the 69 um, constituencies that we do have certain members of parliament um, 
some of us have decided that indeed we are going to go. Where, where are you placing your money? Yes, I'm, I'm going back home. I'm going home. I'm going okay. to Nantong. Nantong, okay. So to speak properly. Mm. You know, I've always mm. been um, with Mutala here. Mm -hmm. And I told him the last time, look, I'm going to make sure, we're going to make sure you lose a seat. Okay. And it, that's, it came to pass. Mm. Um, the MPP is going to retain that seat. We're going to really work hard to ensure that it goes on. Of course, the, as a democratic party, we have internal arrangements, which, of course, um, goes along with what the Constitution of Ghana provides. Okay. We talk about mm. making sure that every party is held on democratic principles. Mm. So once we do have this, some of us have decided to come on board to see what the electorates okay. are going to say. You heard it here first. <laughs> Kamal is going for Nantong. First in news, best in entertainment, then, which is why TV3 New Day is the most watched you know, morning you show, know, according you know, to you know, Jopo. You know, hearing, hearing Kamal <laughs> Dean mm -hmm. putting in um, the parliamentary bid, right. quite uh, encouraging. I strongly believe that young men like us, we have a critical role to play in this democratic process. And so it's not a bad thing when he decides to contest. What I find rather curious, that it does appear that all the strong anchor of the president mm. are all going to parliament. And what I find a bit curious with this arrangement is that you have a situation where the president's two deputy chiefs of staff right. mm. are all going for parliament. Damongo is, is Damongo the next and then Bantama. Right. Key appointees of the president, managed strategic state institutions, are all going for parliamentary elections. And you know, for the parliamentary, uh, there's a certain security of tenor mm. with the parliamentary right. arrangement. It does appear. What, what does that say to you? That, mm. for mm. me, it does appear that they themselves internally have seen that it may well be that the president's as under the circumstance, is definitely not going to get a second chance. Is, is that your inference? And that they want to, oh, put, they want to protect. As so low. They <laughs> want to I protect. Know they, so they, low. They, they want oh, to LDG. protect themselves by securing jobs that, at least in the next four years, you know you'll can, be. Can secure. you can you say same mm -hmm. for for the likes of? Felix Kwachio Fosu and the rest in opposition. Who, 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 who also in opposition. Had, hold on, who also had held ministerial no, positions, he, no, ministerial he, positions. He's in opposition. And they are canvassing <laughs> the man for, has no job. And they are canvassing for I am saying I'm that. coming. I am saying uh, that. The only, hold on, Hughes. The mm. only reason why mm. a deputy chief of staff, mm. the president's eye within what, the what government of hold on, what within the government machinery. Mm. I am saying that it may well be that they are privy to their own internal poll results, okay. which clearly shows that, like the president said, mm. no president deserves automatic second term. And so consistent and, with and that, so, and so I'm they saying want that, to I'm saying that if your principle holds true, mm. you also have the likes of Fusukwa Ache and so many others who say, hold on, hold on, let, let me, let me mm. die before you bury me. Mm. Who have had the opportunity to uh, serve you know, people get as, buried as, deputy, <laughs> as deputy ministers and ministers and all of that. They are canvassing for a win in 2020. And yet, they will not wait for their time to be appointed ministers. They are also running to parliament or going to parliament. If the principle I of think, security I think that holds like, true, it's, holds it's true. important that you do like for like. Okay. I have been very specific. Okay. I say the president has two deputy chief of staff. Okay. Regardless they want to go for parliamentary and to become MPs. There can only be another reason. And to my mind, that's the reason. it may well be okay. that from their own internal polls, okay. it clearly shows that, like the president said, no president deserves automatic two terms. Come on. Is, is, is Eduji speaking truth? Very interesting. I think he's, he's, he's yes. Um, this, this can best be described as his own wishes, mm. his own, um, if you like, um, analogy that he's given to himself. Um, what I do know is that, you know what, if you listen to me earlier, mm -hmm. I just say that, look, in this game called politics, mm -hmm. there are stages that you sometimes wish to belong to. Okay. And of course, it is a game of ambition. Mm. It is a game that tells you that, look, at a point in time, I will decide to go here or not to go here or not to go there. And this is individualistic. It is individualistic. 
except to add that indeed we have also collective interest as a party mm -hmm. when it goes on. So when decisions are taken collectively, you would have to buy by such decision and move on. Right. Just like we've taken decision in um, that of um, Ayoso West Wagon, mm -hmm. that we know contest there. However, if primaries are open and intentions are declared by the party that look, mm -hmm. if you so wish to contest, go out there and contest. Then the deputy chief of staff says, I have the intention to contest. Mm -hmm. Nothing stops so that's him. That's the eye of the president. It, no, it doesn't. No, he runs the president's office. This is office. a party of men and women, able men and women, of course, not just men and women. Okay. Able men and women. It tells you that even if he's a member of parliament, we still have room for people to serve in that capacity as well. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that someone is going to parliament because I want to secure a job. In any case, parliament is itself, even it's, though it's so, seen as so a job, you have but the it is a contribution to the national development. You have the expertise in excess. Why? We do have them in excess. We, are, we have men. Are you telling me that the only, with the great respect, who is um, the chief of staff who is doing a great job, my Madame Prima Opari, equally, even though she's doing a great job, on that seat okay we have other men and women who of course can also do same okay. as it were okay of course the point here i'm making so it, you can't be right the point i'm making is that mm. the, the the intentions of the two deputy chief of staffs to go for if you like um, parliamentary positions as it were in their various con uh, constituencies does not mean that this party is going into opposition. That's why they're taking such decisions. Okay, that's not I true. Mean, I okay, mean, let, point let's, is, let's move, the, let's the move point on. Is, it's, 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 we are point... Like my brother Kamal. We are ready? ready? No, like I yes. told Kamal. Yes, yes, Like yes. I told Kamal. Yes. If you have a situation where the president's own lieutenants mm -hmm. have decided what? to take up a job mm. that secures them a more regular security of tenor, okay. mm -hmm. it may well be that they don't trust the future of their people. It's not true. It's not true. He says I mean, that, not, he says that they, have, they have the not expertise. You know, it, 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 he says they have the party. expertise in excess. This so, is no, arguably. As, as, as for you know, expertise, the past <laughs> three years have demonstrated the nature of expertise. Okay. So I don't uh, want us to let's, have a conversation. Let's make progress. Join the conversation. 020-216-6633. That's 020 Two one six 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 three. I think it's about your, 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 your points have been well made. Let's go to the quarters of the electoral commission. Mm. The electoral commission said uh, we'll save uh, Ghana one hundred seventy three million Ghana cities if we compile a new voters register. And it says that the Ghana stands to save approximately one seventy three million uh, Ghana cities. The electoral commission compiles a new voters register and acquires a new biometric voter management system. The commission has said it said uh, an upgrade and refurbishment of its current data centers and equipment for a combined build and one year maintenance would cost 19 million or uh, 107 million Ghana cities, 19 million dollars that is. Eduji and his team uh, in the NDC are going on a demonstration this morning in the Ashanti region in spite of what the Electoral Commission is saying, in spite of all the argument that the Electoral Commission is building and you say, Mumpini, Eduji, why don't you penny? Ha haven't <coughs> haven't we had enough of this? The eminent committee says, uh, broader consultations and all of that. Why are you, you still see, on the streets? You see, you see, ordinarily, having had eminent people like the national chief imam, Archbishop Duncan Williams, Palmer Baker, Emil Schultz, among others, mm -hmm. who constitute the eminent advisory members of the Electoral Commission. Right. Ordinarily, a political party like the NDC, with the reverence we have for these personalities, we ought to back down right. relative to the demands so that why we are, are you making. Not? It is the duplicitous conduct of Madame Jane <clears throat> Mensah, Bosman Asari, and co. makes believing the Electoral Commission and trusting them a high-risk <coughs> activity. I make this point because you would note that this electoral commission mm -hmm. had all this time said they want to engage. Now, my understanding of you wanting to engage people mm -hmm. is that you are yet to take a decision. Okay. And so you want to have a broader consensus so that a decision that will be taken would inure to the benefit of the generality. Do you have contrary information? Yes. And let me just read a piece by Imani mm. on this same matter. I'll just read so we do move forward. Quote, the EC announced a series of stakeholder consultations on the new biometric voter infrastructure, a blanket term for the register, 
the BVD, the data center middle west in the December 2019. Said program of consultation was again re-emphasized when the EC's new advisory body proposed a renewed effort to engage as many factions of the society as possible. Right. Yet, the Electoral Commission actually published a tender for P BVMs in April 2019. Mm. It has already started plans to spend 70 million on fresh mass registration exercise by June 2019. It has awarded a five, six million data center contract. It has already evaluated base for BVMs and is planning to award a contract this month. Sorry, this month. We find this conduct highly duplicious of the EC. It is clear that the so-called stakeholders consultation is a sham meant to legitimize a procurement gig that the EC had already finalized. So you say this so I am consultation saying is window dressing? Window dressing. It's a <laughs> PR stance. The Electoral Commission led by Madame Jane Mensah Obviously, it's not acting by herself. The Electoral Commission asserts independence openly, but behind the scene, is being railroaded by persons known by Madame Jemensa and Bosman you, you as a report. Make that no, 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 please, please. Without I'll, I'll putting, you, putting, putting, putting details to it. I'm going to do that. As we speak, by August, mm -hmm. the Electoral Commission had already put in the daily graphic an international competitive tendering process. Mm. By October, the Electoral Commission had already shortlisted 10 companies. As we speak, by December, as we were in the Esmas festivity, mm. Madame J. Mensah had already shortlisted four companies, Smartmatics, Talis of France, uh, Backpress, and a consortium made up of IPMC, among others. Okay. Four companies, as we speak, so she had made up her mind. Madame J. Mensah Bosman Asari mm. have decided that they would do whatever pleases them regardless. There's, there was IPAC before, that's, that's, before the, the Committee of Eminent look, People. Can you imagine IPAC that? Well. No, can you imagine that? A critical issue, like compiling the National Register, the Electoral Commission decided to make it part of AOB. Other matters at IPAC. And so it gives you the body language and the posturing of Madame Jean Mensa uh, 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 and Bosman Asari to the extent that they had made up their mind that whatever it is, I am going to do a new register. Regardless of what civil society, regardless of what the political parties are saying, once Nanado Dankwe Kufado is agreeable, to the compilation of a new register, she is willing to do that. Can, can the EC not pull its own plug in spite of no, but what you you're see, saying? We what they, are saying what, that. What we saying, are saying mm. that. We are saying that. Look, as we speak, beyond what the civil society groups have said, I mean, we are all intelligent. As early as 2018, Madame Charlotte Osse had already presented to Parliament the Special Budget Committee of Parliament. Mm -hmm chaired by Honorable Chairman Sabonsu, where in this case she told the Special Budget Committee that yes, the BVDs that they operate with, their hardware and others, their machines, mm -hmm. they go through wear and tear. And so the Special Budget Committee should vote some amount of money for them so, or, uh, so they can refurbish mm -hmm. and upgrade their system. Right. Just around that time, the petition and others and their removal came. When Madame Jane Mensah came with Bosman Asari, they met the process. Jane Mensah, on the 27th day of uh, November 2018, wrote back to Che Mensah Bonsu. In that letter, she told Che Mensah Bonsu, led special budget committee, that she wants to ring fence the amount of money that had already been voted mm. for the data center, among other things. She failed to continue with that procurement process. What was the reason? Nothing. And that they and had... Parliament accepted Yes. That. And that in the letter, she only said that they had just come and that they want to review the process. 
2018, 2019. They never uh, refurbished the BVDs. They never did anything. Only for you to now spring it on us in 2020. That that is the basis on which you want to compile a new register. We are intelligent. In any case, Hughes, where you are now, my phone here, the software component, the data component is different from the hardware. So that, for instance, if the hardware has problem with expiration, has problem because it is obsolete, what you don't do is to destroy the data. All you do is to change the hardware in order that the, 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 the software that you already have, you can proceed with it. Final, final question to you. So if this narrative mm. and we cannot independently verify until no no, no i mean i gave you date 27 well, you have November so, but, 20 but i'm saying that we will the have letter also was independently verified absolutely but running I mean, with what permitted. you say i mean on on condition that mm. it is what it is couldn't parliament have also raised a red flag after madame charlotte say had come to them the special budget committee to make requests then madame jean mensa comes in to say let's pull the plugs and i'll explain and you, okay. and now <clears throat> Jean Mensah is going back see, to Parliament see, to say, see, make allocation for the me. Chairman, the Can chairman, no, the the chairman of that committee, Honorable Chair Mensah Bonsu, at the last MPP rally at Trade Fair, made a very profound statement. And he betrays Madame Jean Mensah, the MPP, Nana Dodankwe Kufado, in this reckless enterprise of compiling a new register. These were the words of Chair Mensah Bonsu. That with a new register, the NDC will never win election in Ghana. The reverse is that. Is that, that please, the please, please. No, is that why you're going to do that? Please, allow him. You the, have the, the, the same reverse. The reverse. The reverse logic <laughs> is that with this current register, <laughs> the MPP cannot win the election. Okay, thank you. And so, if you have the minority leader, <laughs> so the majority leader, who is the chair mm -hmm. of the special budget committee, thinking in this manner, her thinking and that of Madame Jane. Mm -hmm runs the same but the, mm. com the committee is bipartisan ah, he that is why even the most recent when she appeared mm. when her budget was presented at the you know the committee presents the final report to the entire house mm. the honorable mahama yariga and co actually raised in fact it started with honorable to mm. and mahama yariga seconded the process mm. that the item on compiling a new register be, be taken out of it. The majority said no. They are going ahead. So it is not as though the, 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 the entire house, and that is why the NDC okay. boycotted that process. Okay, thank you. So that's why you are on, on the streets this Absolutely. morning. Absolutely. Okay, come out. Are you in bed with the Electoral Commission? Is the MPP in bed with the Electoral Commission to get a new register to, as it were, win the election at all costs and make sure the NDC stays in opposition? That's the crux of the argument. The, 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 once again, I'll say good morning to viewers and, of course, especially to my very good people of Nanton constituency. I want to say good morning to you, those mm. of you watching this morning, um, running from Tampion Zhao and then, of course, to Zhang and all the areas, especially Nanton itself. Um, Hughes, mm. you asked the question whether the MPP is in bed with the Electoral Commission. Right. <laughs> the answer is a big no. <laughs> Did you say so? I'm saying the answer is the big, a very big no. Can you, you see, can you bring I'm happy details to it? On this platform this morning, I'm sitting with a very renowned lawyer, very great guy. When it comes to appreciating what the laws of this country says, he's also one of them. And it's top notch. I don't doubt his credibility at all. I don't doubt his um, prowess when it comes to interpreting saying. Now let us take Article 45, Clause 1, mm -hmm. which he knows, and he so much knows what the provision says about the functions of the Electoral Commission. Right. And I'm taking Article 45, Clause 1. I want to stay on Clause 1 because there are other functions. Right. What did that say? The Electoral Commission, okay, shall compile a register. Mm -hmm. I'm not actually quoting, paraphrasing. Shall compile a register, okay. revise it if, of course, hmm. it thinks so, mm -hmm. As the law may determine, okay. as it were, I'm, like I said, I'm yes. paraphrasing. I'm yeah. not determined. I'm not. I'm not right. quoting. Right. But the, the the import of this is that the electoral commission is mandated by the mother law of this country, which is the constitution. The right rests with them. Okay, the right rests with them. You see, you go about a very great lawyer you are reading a piece from Imani Ghana. Okay, 
and tell the whole world that Imani Ghana has said this, that the Electoral Commission sought to say that they were going to have what we call engagement with, as it were, um, stakeholders. To them, they think it's a sham. That, in a way, When, when did they had not already put out a tender. Absolutely, tender. because they gave their reasons. Mm. <laughs> but interestingly, stakeholders. In the wisdom of the Electoral Commission, somewhere in 1996, under Afarajan's watch, they instituted what we call IPAC. Right. I'm happy when you asked him about it. And he just, he, he didn't even answer, he just went through. Ooh. See, oh, he of did. course, oh, he, he, he answered. Did. Okay, fine, 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 fine. But let me go on. Let me go on. <laughs> when they instituted IPAC, first of all, he and my good self sitting here, and you know, yourself, and people watching us know that IPAC up till now doesn't have a law backing. Right. We all know that. So sometimes. We, we no, agree no, that we, there shouldn't be there any law. There has not been a law backing. Yes, yes. So we all know that there has not been any, there's no law backing. Mm. Morally, discussions will be held. Mm. Morally, based on that or objectively, mm. they could be taken to mean that this is what we all, is going to serve in the, in the and, interest and the of all of us. committee uh, of eminent doesn't also have Now, he says, stakeholders ought to be engaged. Who are the critical stakeholders in this business? Political parties. Right. Critical stakeholder, and I'm choosing my words. Were, were they engaged? Critic were you engaged? Absolutely, yes. There has been series of meetings on this matter, procurement processes, our the the, the, the healthy nature of our electoral uh, our electoral role has been discussed. The NDC alone will come out and tell you it has not been discussed. But I'm not surprised. Why would they do that? Oh, why? Well, I'll tell you. He do, he gave you the reason at the tail end of his submission that that he purportedly said that the majority leader made a statement mm. that with a new register the NDC will never win an election mm. he purportedly said that i have not heard it anyway. but that's what you mean i have not no I, I, well i have not heard this i have not heard it i'm an individual you are there okay. i have not heard it okay. Okay. Not there. Not, i wasn't there i wasn't there <laughs> 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 when i was there as a reporter granted 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 he said it at the front stage granted granted then he added that with the old register, certainly the NDC will win the next election. Right. So, no, the reverse, the, the, based on his logic. Uh, it's, yeah, allow, it's, okay. allow him, allow him to. So, allow him so he, he told you the reason for this, you know, needless demonstration out there, which is even an affront to the law, in a way. Because when the law allows the EC to do its work <laughs> and has even engaged you, you go and invoke Article 21 and go on the suite and then do your exercise. You can continue and do your exercise. Nobody is stopping you. What is good is that under the NADO, mm. we have not seen somebody demonstrating, mm. okay, against a particular action of the EC, whose eye is lost. Would you? Would you have? We've said not seen somebody maimed. Mm. We've not seen somebody beaten. Would you have wished no. that they? Under the NADO, we have seen a very decent conduct by the police handling you to do your uh, your, your demonstrations, if, finish, and then go and sit home, get your banku and pepper, and enjoy. Then come back to SCTV3 and then continue you, with you your You don't programs. want to give the NDC credit for also <laughs> conducting themselves well on those I was in Tamale on the day of their demonstration. Mm. Did you say they conduct themselves well? They didn't. Sad. What demonstration do you hold that you have ties? You were in Tamale. You have ties on the main road, mm. burning them with full, uh, petrol, recklessly. Wow. Is that a demonstration? I saw, I was in Tamale, I saw what happened. But yet still, the police, the security agencies conducted themselves well, allowed them to go on their exercise. Mm. Okay? At least some of them will burn some fat. That would be good. So, <laughs> I, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, that would be fine. But the point is, the law itself is the law. And I'm saying the Electoral Commission should not be guard. Now, the eminent... Um, if let, like, let, let, let me make a quick intervention. Mm -hmm. Would you be saying these same things if you were in the shoes of the NDC? Uh, why? In 2016, I recall very well that when John Dramani Mahama, when in fact we had calls, that has been always been opposition, that's what people don't know. Mm. MPP, even in opposition, called for an, an electoral, a credible electoral role. Mm. And we called for a credible voter register because okay. we thought that the register that we have was tainted. Mm. It was our position. The NDC came, we all met at Alisa, also gave the position. And even corroborated said, their general secretary, a certain Ketia had mentioned that there were minors in that particular register mm -hmm. and that they had a problem. All, except to add that he thinks that even if we go to do a new one, they, will, they could still be minors. minors right. Meaning it's an admission of the fact that we have a tainted electoral uh, register. Mm -hmm. We all came with this position. We have always stayed on that position. We said the EC has their right. What we push it, what did Mahama say? That allow EC to do its work. We should leave EC in peace. In 2016. When it seals them, it's cool. We have been nationalistic as a party. Even in opposition, when the president was not the president. 
He called for a credible voter register. When we went to our part of the demonstration, mm. when we sought to demonstrate, to tell the letter commission to get it through, um, let my vote count, they beat us up mercilessly. I was beaten like a, a thief when I was not. Gabi Ochozako, uh, look at the way he was beaten, mercilessly. Manhandled. You sit here today and you tell that okay. you are going to be respected and you are people who of what, respect the rule of law. Let, let me, you are let, not. Let me, let me ask you this question that ADG put up. So mm -hmm. Imani Ghana put up a piece and Imani is pressing home the point that the Electoral Commission had already started the process of tendering and had actually shortlisted up to four. And so this whole stakeholder consultation that even the Committee of Eminent People are asking for them to do is just to put a smoke screen on what they had already decided to do. Given your position now, insisting that you have always stayed with the Electoral Commission state, no matter which regime is in. For a credible reason. Exactly. Regime. Would you say that the Electoral Commission should pull the plugs now, now that everybody is asking for them to do consultation? The piece, the piece Edward you read, did not seek to say that there has been any law breached by the Electoral Commission in terms of the process. It didn't seek to say so. Th that is not the, the argument. only point. Mm -hmm. Is that the stake? I mean, the the, the engagement mm. that they wanted to see is not what they have seen. But come out if you that come was out. A shark. Come out if you. But then come out yes. if you tell your wife that you want to have dinner, and you are proposing to your wife that she does rice and stew for you, contum rice stew, and your wife has already made up her mind and bought ingredients to prepare jollof rice, your contum rice stew will not happen. It will be rice anyway, but it will not be the rice that you desire to eat. And that is the point ATG is raising. My wife knew very well that there was supposed to be a meal, mm. except that I had come to say that that meal should be changed to contumbre stew instead of gravy. Mm. But I decided not to go ahead with my contumbre stew and went ahead with what meal that we're supposed to have by law, okay. which is the gravy. Mm. I have not made any mistake. So, so your wife, not committed so your wife is meeting you anyway over the food that you, you do not like? Or that you do not wish to eat, but she beyond the meeting, she still goes to prepare the jollof. That Either she my to wife or myself knew very well that at 5 p.m. we're supposed to have supper. Okay. With supper, no meal has been prescribed. Mm. She decided I want to give contumbre. I decided there's supposed to be gravy. What is important is that there has been a meal. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So if there's a meal, the meal is the credible register, mm. and I'm saying that the meal is the procurement process. Okay. So if the procurement process by law. It has not been breached. Mm -hmm. I wanted Imani to tell me in that piece that this law has been breached, that law has been breached, that has not been done, the EC has not done X, Y, Z. I would have cited, I would have cited with Imani. But if for you to say that we had the impression that there was going to be engagement, but to the best of our knowledge, the engagement has not been so good. Mm -hmm. And what the law emphatically states, mm -hmm. that you have the mandate to do the same and engage the critical stakeholders in order to ensure transparency, what they have done through IPAC. Then somebody sits somewhere and say, because they say I will win election with the old register, I'm going to go on demonstration. That, that, that's, 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 that's the statement. Because of, I'm going to win election statement, with the old register, the I will do demonstration and then they will not do register. Come on, that's the statement. That the point? That's the statement made by uh Osei Chime Sabonso at your 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 rally doesn't that and making him the committee chair of the special mm -hmm. budget committee that pulled the plugs per the letter from uh, yeah, Madame Jane, every the, every Madame political Jane party every Th does it does it not put him good. in no. in a position no of it Jeopardy? doesn't it doesn't every political party and every member of a political party has what it takes to say optimism mm. when you are optimistic about something you can measure it it is not out of place for me to say that, look, with a new credible register, with we working hard with that and ensuring that we have a credible register, the winning of the new uh, MPB 2020 election will be that for I, the I'm MPP. asking a question it of, not co out of conflict place. of interest. What, here's a, conflict here's of a chairman of the special budget committee uh -huh. that had agreed to a previous electoral commissioner, according yeah. to a yes. mm. to to have mm -hmm. uh, what is now being proposed, mm -hmm. which is BBDs. what is now being proposed mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. Then there's a new electoral commissioner mm -hmm. based on the fact that a petition was filed against mm -hmm. the old one and she was kicked out with two mm -hmm. of the yeah, other commissioners. Yeah, yeah. Now, this new commissioner goes yeah. back and says, we don't want it. Mm -hmm. This is actually what we want to do. We want mm -hmm. to do a separate thing. Yeah. This chairman of the committee mm -hmm. goes now to stand on the political parties uh, campaign platform I, and says that without a new register, uh, no win. yes, mm -hmm. does it is it, does it not bring a problem of conflict of interest? Is he, 
there has there's an entirely a new commission put in place okay. if not if not if not entirely but some le level of leadership has changed okay mm. the old electoral commission that we had with led by charlotte Ose, mm. of course from the words of my own brother mm. accusations and counter accusations among themselves and petitions flying out there saw them out by law and they've gone they brought some proposals this one have come with some reasons mm. that one we think that our data is not well controlled okay it is held by some people who are supposed to be foreigners mm. as it were we think that the it room is completely in, in, in not in good shape mm. we think that personnel of the ec have not been properly trained on even the data that we do the have. nia says and we can help you with the good i'm coming i'm just i'm just giving so all these reasons have been tabulated mm. and given now we all go by this result and all we need is a transparent free election and of course a credible election okay. which is supposed to be ensured mm -hmm. by an electoral rule which is credible by all of us then the new one says look i think i am shelving this this is the way to go these are my reasons i have given cogent reasons why we need this and of course we look at the law and of course he falls within the remit of the law he's pushing it somebody say i think Respo i'm going to respond to the conflict of so interest. the point is where why 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 is there complete conflict of interest why is there I'm, conflict? I'm saying, is there is there conflict? Of I don't see it. it. You don't I don't see really it. see it. Where the chairman of the special no. budget committee yeah. makes a political statement mm -hmm. about the same register, mm -hmm. which which has now been pulled. Why? Uh, there's no conflict. It's not. Why? At the on the on that platform, he was speaking as a politician. You know that he's a okay. member of a party. Okay. Is that correct? And he was but also in, par he's on, he's and in he's parliament. He's optimistic for his party. Okay. Okay. And moving on. Okay. Can that okay. Be? Take 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 a bite and we'll go to the start. Just a quick. But come out. We'll have a second round. So just to be fair. No, no, no. I mean, no, I mean, you are getting a second round. We are indeed, so we are indeed a new year. Say again. How many minutes are you giving me so I know? Well, we are I know you I'll ask you one minute, then I'll give you one you. minute. So. But you see, it's curious my brother talks about law. So nobody accuses yes. me Yes, it's curious my brother yeah. talks about whether there have been breaches of the law. Mm -hmm. Jane Mensah, mm -hmm. and like they say, nothing convicts a man better than his own words. Jane Mensah, mm -hmm. in 2015, mm -hmm. in all of this, bro, mm -hmm. had a word for Charlotte or say, mm -hmm. he said, regardless of the independence of the Electoral Commission, mm -hmm. you must know that you are accountable to the people. Is that the law? Please, please. This, no, this was when the law. The, the law. This was when she was no, IEA. Exactly. That's the law. Exactly. That's the law. Come out. Come out. Come out. Allow him. Allow okay. him to have his Why? minute so you Why? have your Why? minute. I want him to. He said, I'm, I'm talking about but, that. I'm, I'm, but uh, I'm saying that this was when Exactly the point I'm making. Was the IEA At that time, it was this same question or asserting independence. And she said that, look, this is your question of independence. Mm. Stop it. Mm -hmm. Know that you are accountable to the people of this country. <laughs> it is their taxpayers' money that you are using. Mm. So stop creating that cocoon. Don't cocoonize yourself and say, oh, I have independence. Even more importantly, my brother read Article 45. Mm -hmm. And he concedes that he's not a lawyer. In Article 45, it's two things in one. Mm -hmm. Compare and mm. revise at such interval Absolutely. as the law will prescribe. Mm -hmm. right. As we speak, mm -hmm. which law mm -hmm. says that you should do a new one? Ah, the same law. No, because you already... Oh, hold on, please. The current voters register that we have mm. is the only register that has oh. withstand judicial scrutiny okay. under That's the federal okay. 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 thank you. Abu oh, Ramadan it's one, it's Abu it's Ramadan two, okay. have resolved the issue of its credibility. Thank not. you. And Thank that you. is why it when Nanado won the election 2016, mm. he raised no not. issue about his victory. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Christoph, yeah, take a bite. Then come out, we'll, we'll have his one Certainly, minute. Yeah. You never yeah. went so, to the Supreme Court. Allow, 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 yeah. allow the lady. Don't hang <laughs> <have> the lady. <laughs> All right. We start with some messages for you, Johnny. Good morning, TV3. Welcome back, my Johnny. You have been missed. Thank you. Good morning, Johnny. In fact, I become so much happier when I sit to watch you on New Day live show. This is because you hit the nail right on the head. Thanks for the good work you are doing for Mother Ghana. That's from Edward from Thank Eastern you. Region. Good morning, TV3 and the New Day crew. I just can't hide my joy to see Johnny back. Oh, In fact, I was terrified oh, really? at some point. Please tell <laughs> Senior Bright to pass through one day. We just want to see him. That's yeah, from I'm Benjamin. You should see that smile on Johnny's face right now. <laughs> Good morning. Please, uh, NAMCO trainees have not been paid since December. So kindly tell our leaders to pay because we are dying out of hunger. I'm Danny, a NAMCO uh, trainee. Johnny, they claimed they have exceeded targets. They taxed, they taxed even the free SHS fees given to schools by 10%. Students still sleep on floors and furniture is virtually non-existent in classrooms. Teachers who used to get 30 CDs a year are now earning 18 CDs a year 
for motivation. This government is a scam. That's from Bright in Akimoda. I miss you so much on the show, Mr. Johnny. Good to have you back. Daps and Somanya says, good morning, Johnny. Monkey is a sweet delicacy, not only in Nigeria, but also uh, so in the Upper West region of Ghana. If you eat the palm and see, and see I bet you, you will always go hunting for uh, only monkeys. That's from Osman Kumbari in Bulenga in the Upper West region. Good morning, Johnny and your beautiful ladies. I'm a teacher and the school in which I teach specifically the JHS is, a bad, is as bad as the one you uh, showed today. When it rains, those in the village can't travel to the city and vice versa. And that's from Guy Foz from Agona uh, Otsinkran. <laughs> Good morning, team. Welcome back, my two favorites, Johnny and Aisha. I love watching you too, and especially when Aisha is smiling. Ooh, enjoying the show from Takwa. That's from Johnson. Good morning, TV3. There's a plan in it. It's not just compiling new voters register as others are seeing. Again, we should try to find out where, when did those biometric machines become obsolete or the dates for the end of life of the machines so that we can make inferences against the just ended local level elections, which is exactly one month today. That's from Amwintwa from Zebila. Good morning, TV3. My name is Gandhi J. Uh, please tell Kamal Dean to remind the presidents that 2017 nurses are still waiting for their posting. Okay, he says they'll be posted. Okunka from Wejak Bawe, good morning. We uh, says good morning. We Ghanaians uh, don't need any new voters register. Masa, good morning, TV3 for yet another wonderful day uh, show. Day show. In fact, extend my greetings to lawyer that the rescue mission is on course. But I wish Kamal Dean and his government will, with Jean Mensa led, e Jean Mensa led EC, should know that uh, we Ghanaians have no other place to go if not this country ghana is uh peaceful uh, so well yeah from upper west uh that's sami jemfi hashtag rescue mission 2021 good morning tv3 um, 140 million dollars is enough to settle challenges facing uh we face in our senior high schools 800 million uh, will build about 100 mahama e blocks for our secondary schools and uh, permanently stop the double track system and our children can go to school comfortably. That's from Mohammed Abdul Ghani, popularly known as Shata Liman, ADND. Good morning, Johnny and TV3. The NPP and EC are simply not convincing. If your old father used to eat three balls of Kenke in his active years uh, now can, and now can eat one ball of Kenke, do you abandon him uh, for a new father? <laughs> Why would the politician think they owe Ghana? EC's action in my candid view, candid view is uh, as variance with the true independence of the constitution uh, um, has been given it. Um, sim simply, there are no textbooks for the poor schools, for the poor school kids, no better drugs in our remote health centers, very bad roads, etc. And this is our priority. In any case, after a new register, would people not die? That's from Tia Roth. Uh, Ralph Robert in Wale Wale. Good morning, TV3. This argument by the EC that I'll save the country uh, 173 million Ghana cities from the complaint, uh, compilation of a new register doesn't appeal to reason. They should rather avert their minds to how much will be saved if the register is not unreasonably and unjustifiably compiled. Abbas Abdul Hamid from East Airport. Good morning, TV3. Good luck to Kamal Dean for the decision to take up the Nantong seeds. I wish you well. That's from Lambusi, youth organizer, Quine Gabriel Gabri. Good morning, Johnny. Please, I want you to help me out. If the EC changed a new register, will my NIA card be valid? Because I use the voter ID as one, as the, uh, one of the documents to register for the NIA. Uh, f that's from Abdul Rashid, member of Tamale Central uh, Serial Caller on NDC. Uh, of NDC. That's a okay. of law. Good. Okay. A good question. Good morning uh, to you and your panel for this wonderful show. Mr. Ho, tell NDC man that uh, they can go a uh, series of demonstrations in this country, but the positions of the EC remain the same. Uh, they are going to compile the new register. Thank you. And this is from um, Humble Lion inside Nabari. And the last comment this morning, EC has taken the best decision with the people in mind. The selfish interest of the NDC against the EC and the people of Ghana won't work. They should rather concentrate on what alternative they have in their manifesto to Ghanaians and seize the unnecessary demonstrations, which is of no benefit to the people. Still, four more for Nana and Hawa Kumsen, success Piquet Kaswa says. And that's all Thank you for this morning. Thank you very Johnny. much. Most grateful. Come on. You have your one minute indeed, now. Indeed, four more for Nana. Thank uh, you so you much have your one day. minute oh, now. For so. ending on that note, um, oh, quick one. I, I, I think that this issue about whether or not the EC has the right to compile a new register or doesn't have the right is something that has been overflocked. 
and it's something that is strike knowledge that we know that mm. is the law. Of course, if my good friend talked about Jay Mensah making some comments some time ago, of course, it's not the law. I thought when he said, I spoke about law, he was going to cite a particular reference that tells us that, look, this matter disallowed the You were quoting John Muhammad a while ago. Uh, I didn't say it was a law. I only, if I, he, he, of course, he also has a right to say that. Mm. But if you're going to speak to the law, which is a lawyer, I'm not a lawyer anyway, I thought he was going to give us reference mm. to a particular point where we think that the EC doesn't have the right okay. or is that from Great. going same. Well, he talks about Abu Ramadan case and Ivan Stimako case. Go and read that judgment mm. and look at how the Supreme Court had caused to talk about the electoral rule that we do have to make. Okay. Clearly, the credibility issues raised then and still raised now mm. was corroborated or has been corroborated by the Supreme Court judgment that he has already cited. It is clear. So if you say that, look, based on that judgment, mm. they had the Electoral Commission had taken steps to clean or to expand certain names out of it. Therefore, the, the role that we do have now is credible. Those were for the me, NHIS, I think it's not proper. NHIS, uh, yeah, 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 of course. Really for me, I think it's not so proper. Mm. The EC that is supposed to be superintending over the election is supposed to be looking at our electoral rule. Tell okay. you that this document Johnny, is faulty. Say, Thank you. But I thought that, I thought that, hold on, hold mm -hmm. on. For, mm -hmm. I thought that, I thought that the electoral mm -hmm. commission said not so long ago yeah. that there's nothing wrong with the register yes. and in fact i've gone ahead to create six new regions and gone ahead to elect assembly members yes. and unit committee members i've gone ahead to do a referendum yes. that led to the creation I mean, of it. so I mean, so how does the ec reconcile its own when? information that look there's nothing wrong with what we are using the data and now it comes back to say we need to wipe it away and create a new one i'm i'm thinking johnny johnny i'm happy you mentioned six new regions that have been created Every region one we have 10 region has a code. Ask me today and ask my good brother, he's from the OT region, precisely Krachi, where we have fine brains mm. coming from. Okay, my aid is from there as well, as the way. Mm. And I tell you, if you ask him what is the code as we have now mm. for OT, none. It's still under four. You know, the electoral commission. Uh, hold these on. are, these the, are the, things. Yes, the, but the electoral commission is still Now, 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 hold on, come on, hold on. You listen I, to I know, friends. I know, that, I know that the electoral commission's code, I'm, for example, yes. Western Region A, Central B, mm -hmm. Greater Accra C, Volta for D. The ten for, exactly. Yes. So and it should not be difficult for the electoral commission. Do you know oh, something? Do you know something? So? The it's most recent district assembly elections. The most recent district assembly elections. Okay. Happened in the OT region. It happened in Bono. Right. It happened in Ahafo. Mm. Where those elections in by reason of a different mm. code. Please mm. know, this this is you an see? afterthought argument. But you see, you see <laughs> let me just read something for you. Beautiful. Of, of you see, you see, you see the country report on Ghana, mm. human rights practice for 2018, as delivered by the United States Department of State, Bureau of Democracy, Human Rights and Labor, had this to say on Ghana. Quote, the June after of the Electoral Commission chairperson mm. and the president's subsequent stalking of the Electoral Commission with persons considered to be biased in favor of the ruling party raised questions about whether the body might be used to stifle voter registration among opposition base. Okay. This is the United States the, of America. The, the 2018 the report. Thank you. Is that, is that the to the report. No. Is that a law? I, I, am I, am I, am I am grateful. Even the Americans no, know. No. I am grateful. And you know, and you know, is that you know, is that the law? No. Is that the law? No. You see, you Apostle, Paul, Paul, Apostle Paul, Paul has something not. to tell believers. <laughs> okay. He said there is hmm. something that looks necessary, but Obia Oye Bajimba, you don't do it. <laughs> so if you just stand up and say, is that the law? No, no. It's is not it, enough. Is it, is it, you see? But, but, but you see? But the duji, why? The duji, no, duji, no, you see? Duji, you see? If, if, if you say it's not, come on, allow me. If you what? say that's not enough, I mean, we know that our prisons are choked. The law says <laughs> either custodial sentences or find them. No, so now, now if you now, edge that, oh, hold, if on, you edge, hold on, hold on, hold on. Many yeah. times. Let me die before you bury me. Uh -huh. I'm saying that. How many times do you want to die? How many times do you want to die? I'm saying that you know that the law says either custodial sentences yeah. or find them. Mm. Mm. That is the law. Mm. Our prisons are choked, mm. but we still put people there. That is the law, but it doesn't depend, make sense. Depend, you know, no, okay, so you see, no, you see, you see, you see, I the, 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 the prisons are packed. 30, 30, 30 seconds. This is discretionary. 30 seconds, so he can have his last. Okay. But this, 30 seconds. Even though this is discretionary, but of course, this I, is 
I have, I have, I have an interest this morning. Go, 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 go. No, huge, Present huge. me with one minute. Thank you. Huge. Lawyer, 30 lawyer, seconds. Let me use 30 I'm seconds. Lawyer, you know, you, 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 you use 30 seconds. Thank you. Lawyer, you need some as a member of the NDC's communication team. He's also a member of the legal team. This morning, they are in Kumasi, on the streets. They say, yeah, the nation is Yes, and Kamaldin Abdullahi wants to become MP for the people of Nantong. Uh, up there in the yeah, north, and we, we wish him all the best. <laughs> Thank you very much.